definitely seen an increase in the number of cars parking in the deck. One parking deck in downtown Champaign is noticing an increase in users compared to years past. Uh, three fluid leveled reading groups. After another year of below adequate test scores, one school will revamp its schedule. And for all you bargain shoppers, find out where you can get a great deal and help out an even better cause. ABC News Channel 15, First News at 6, starts now. Good evening, I'm AJ Byatpour. It's been more than two years since a giant parking garage went up in downtown Champaign. And while it hasn't always been packed with cars on a regular basis, things may be starting to change. ABC News Channel 15's James Fillmore joins us live from downtown Champaign with more. James, are people using the deck more often? Well, parking is free on Saturdays and Sundays, and many businesses validate parking vouchers for their customers. Well, the Champaign County Sheriff's Office is looking for the suspect. They say robbed the Motel 6 on North Cunningham in Urbana. Deputies believe this man entered the motel armed with a gun, took an undisclosed amount of cash, and took off on foot through the Willow Springs apartment complex. He's described as a black male, 6 feet tall, 150 to 170 pounds. He is wearing a black hoodie and black leather jacket. Anyone with information is asked to call the Champaign County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. The defense team in the Rod Blagojevich corruption trial claims their witnesses will be of some prominence. They did not specify who they will be calling to the stand now that the prosecution has rested. Last year, the defense rested without calling a single witness to the stand. Attorneys for the ex-governor say they'll be ready to begin their case on Monday. Fourteen representatives on both sides of the aisle came together today to challenge the accuracy of savings estimates implied by the Health Care and Family Services Report and to stand in support of Health Alliance's protest with the state. The Health Care and Family Services estimate network discounts of 70 percent. Lawmakers and Health Alliance are saying, well, that's not going to happen in downstate Illinois due to the lack of physicians. What they believe it will do is force people into a plan that costs them and the state more money. I've been here nine years. Um, I, I'm not sure I've seen anything that's more insensitive uh, to the people who are being served and more reckless than this decision. I, like a lot of the other reps and senators, would like to see uh, this process start all over and uh, make sure we get to the right figures. These representatives say they're fighting to stop the threat of 102 counties being left without coverage due to the state dropping health alliance. With a look at our weather, here's Doug Quick. Thanks, Doug. We'll check back in with you later. Big changes are coming for one Rand Tool School. J.W. Ader Junior High failed to make adequate year yearly progress in both reading and math. School officials hope a new schedule will turn things around. ABC News Channel 15's Aaron Matus joins us live in the newsroom with that story. Aaron? Thanks, Aaron. To simplify the reading program, the school will place students into three groups. Those who need the most help, those slightly below average, and students who are at or above average. Dozens of local teachers are getting ready to pack up their classrooms for the summer, others for good. After 39 years teaching, one Philo teacher is closing the book on her career. ABC News Channel 15's Liz Loheis joins us live in the studio to explain the impact she's had on her community. Liz? All right, put that red marker away. A retirement party will be held for Mrs. Farney on May 28th at 5 p.m. at St. Thomas. Well, Christie Clinic is getting a makeover. What changes will you see the next time you walk in? That's coming up. And a little later on in sports, find out which track stars are one step closer to a state title. That's ahead on ABC News Channel 15.